Alex. So today I have my June favorites video um, and all of my favorites are beauty products except for one thing and that one thing is her campus and I talked about this in a previous vlog video but I don't know if many people stuck out the whole video to hear about it so I'm going to tell you about it a little bit right now. What Her Campus is, is an online magazine um, for girls and guys, kind of teenage to mid to late 20s. Um, and it has all different sorts of articles, all different sorts of sections. There's a love section, a beauty section, career section, life section, style section. List goes on. There's so much on the website. Um, and this month I joined the Her Campus team and became one of the beauty bloggers. So if you want to see more tutorials and more things from me, you should definitely go check out Her Campus in the beauty school section. So what you do is go to the Her Campus page, which I'll put a box here, you can click it, and then go to beauty. And then under that tab there's beauty school. And if you click that, you'll see there should be up by now a hair tutorial that has three different looks in it and a 4th of July head to toe beauty guide, which is awesome. There's a makeup tutorial in that. There are two hair tutorials, nail stuff, skin stuff. There's so much in that video. So it would really mean so much to me if you guys went and checked out the um, YouTube channel that I helped start for Her Campus. The name of it is Her Campus Beauty. I'll put that here for you guys to click. You should go check it out and subscribe because I will be posting weekly videos, maybe more than once a week also, um, to that channel if you guys want to see more of me. Alright, so now into the beauty favorites. So my first favorite is definitely my Naked palette. Um, I hadn't had this for the longest time and I finally got it because I was like, you just you have to have it. I don't know. I really wanted it. So I went and I picked it up and I've really just been liking it for like my everyday eye look. Um, in my everyday eye routine, I talk about how like I switch up the colors I use a lot. So it's the same eye. Um, I have it on now, except with like a little pop of blue on my lower lash line for the fourth. <laughs> um, but it's the same look, but just different colors. So from the Naked palette, I love using Sin all over my eye. Naked in my crease. Um, and then Buck in my outer corner. And then I'll use Hustle or Creep along my lower lash line. Creep is the black. So I really love using this. I think it's a really handy palette to have. My next favorite is not new from this month and that is my Sonia Kashuk Stippling Brush. Um, I got this for, I think it was $12 at Target. Mine's dirty. Sorry, I just used it. Um, but I absolutely love it. And I have the MAC 187, I have the travel size. And guys, compared to the 187, this Sonia Kashuk brush is unbelievable. This one lets you have so much more movement with the product. It's so much easier to blend with. I just, I feel like with this MAC brush, it really just kind of like moves the product off of your face. Whereas when you use the Sonia Kashuk one, it really helps like blend it and buff it into your skin. So if you're thinking about getting a stippling brush, don't go straight to the 187. I really recommend trying out the Sonia Kashuk one first. Next, I have a couple of blushes. Um, the first one is a drugstore blush by NYC, and it's the Blushable Cream Stick in the color South Saint Seashell. Um, and it's a really good, like, brownie nude. On the skin, it blends really nicely to be like a really peachy, that's it blended right there, like a peachy color. So I love using this paired with my next favorite, which is the e.l.f. blush in Peachy Keen. It looks like this. Now, when people use this in tutorials, you may be like, what the heck, it doesn't look like it changes their skin at all, it doesn't add anything. Um, I definitely thought that, and that's why for the longest time I didn't buy it. But I finally gave in to everyone's like hype about it. And you guys, there's hype for a reason. This blush is so good. While you might not think it really adds much color, um, it really adds this like really pretty nude peach kind of glow. I'm wearing it on my face today um, with my next favorite. <laughs> I have a lot of blush favorites this month. So I'm wearing this all along my cheeks. Um, and if you haven't tried it or if you're skeptical about trying, skeptical skeptical about trying it, I definitely, definitely recommend it. It's so good. So as I said, I'm wearing a different blush on the apples of my cheeks, and that is the Smashbox Blush Rush in Everlasting. And I got this with the Limitless Beauty Kit, um, and 
I've been using this every single day. It is so pretty. It's just like, <clears throat> it's not a matte, but it kind of has this really pretty sheen to it. You're not going to be able to see this if I show it there. Um, it's right here. But I love using this, again, on the apples of my cheeks with Peachy Keen um, kind of blended back into my cheekbone. So this is gorgeous. Two more face products here. The first one is my Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer Kit. Um, I'm in the color Cool Sand for the concealer and Pale Yellow for the powder. And what this looks like is this. And it has a little mirror right there, but that'll reflect funky into the lens, so I'm not going to show that, but it's a really, really great kit, and this is, the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer is by far my favorite under eye concealer. Um, I use it every single day, I dab it under my eye, and then I take a little um, Eco Tools fluffy brush, and I use that to put the powder on so that it lasts all day, um, and it does last all day. So I really, really love this. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a good higher end under eye concealer. Last face product I think was in my May favorites, I'm not sure, but it's my Chanel, I can't pronounce this, Soleil Tan de Chanel. I didn't take French, I took Spanish, so I really don't even know how to try to pronounce it, but um, what this is, is a cream bronzer, and you're going to see some brush hairs in there, sorry. Um, and I love using this after I put on my foundation and my concealer, I'll take a brush, where is it? Oh, right here. Um, I just got this brush at Target. I don't think it's from any specific line, but it just says the blusher brush right here. I just use this and I swirl it all in the product and then I place it right here and I kind of blend it into my, um, back into my hairline and then I sweep it upwards up into my temples and it really provides not only a good base for my NARS Laguna bronzer, which I need to get a new one of, um, but it also really, really helps contour. Like, it makes my face look a lot slimmer and really, like, bronzy, glowy. So, I highly recommend this. Um, it is really expensive. That's my only thing. But I love it. It's awesome, and I love using it the way I do with that um, fluffy brush. Okay, now for some lip products. Um, my all-time favorite lipstick this month besides matte cream cup, which is just always going to be a favorite beyond everything else, um, is the Chanel Coco, I always say it wrong, Rouge Coco Shine um, lipstick in the number 56 color Chance. It is so pretty. And it's not only like a hot pink, but it's really wearable. Like, I'll put it on now. It almost feels like I'm putting a chapstick when I put it on. It feels so hydrating and so moisturizing. I just, I'm so obsessed with this. I love it. I really want to get more colors. Um, the only thing is they're $32 each, so it's fairly expensive for a lipstick, but I love it. Alright, next are the NARS um, lip glosses, and I have two of them now. I have the color Strip Tease and the color Turkish Delight. And Strip Tease is just a really good nude, um, if you can see it there. And Turkish Delight is a really good baby pink. So I love both of these for daily use. They're really good and they're not sticky. I hate sticky lip glosses because I wear my hair down so much of the time that if I'm wearing a sticky lip gloss, a lot of times my hair gets stuck in it and then it gets all gross and ooh, I hate that. But these are not sticky, and these are amazing, and I love them. Woo! Alright, next, just a couple of eye products. Um, the first one here is my Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the color Lionfish. And it's a brown eyeliner, and I love using this as um, in my tight line. Since it is waterproof, it really doesn't move all day. I have it on now. Um... It's really good. Here, I'll swatch it. It's just a good dark, dark brown. Next is uh, my new favorite mascara of all time, and that is the Aqua Smoky Lash by Makeup Forever. Um, and I love this because it holds curl so well. I have decently long lashes. Like, they're not really long. They're nothing crazy special. But I think they're 
decently long, but they do not curl. That's the most annoying thing about them. So I use my Shu Yumura eyelash curler every day. Then I needed to get a good curl holding mascara, and that is exactly what this is. The brush looks like this, um, and it really does apply a lot of product. So one issue I find with this mascara is that it can get clumpy, but I don't mind that look so much. Some people might, um, but it holds curl so well and it is impossible to get off like i have the neutrogena i'm trying to find them oh right here i have the neutrogena makeup removing wipes and these guys can take off anything you put on your face and it takes like a good rub on my eyes to get this mascara off so really good for a waterproof mascara and for a curling mascara Alright guys, so that is it for my June favorites. Please, please, please go check out the Her Campus Beauty YouTube channel and go check out hercampus.com. It would really mean so much to me if you went, just checked out the videos, checked out the articles, things like that. Um, yeah. I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!